to love you It's the best thing that I'll ever do Oh, I get to love you It's a promise I'm making to you Whatever may come, your heart I will choose Forever I'm yours, forever I do Oh, I get to love you I get to love you The way you love It changes who to love you It's the best thing that I'll ever do Oh, I get to love you It's a promise I'm making to you Whatever Marcus Thomas, the day is here, and this letter is so bittersweet as it is the last one you'll ever receive from Cassie Collins. Until this day forward, all of your love notes, or from this day forward, all of your love notes will be signed by Cassie Moon. I look back at all the years it took for our hearts to find each other, and it makes me appreciate you more because of the roads we traveled and the hardships we each uh, faced. My star story brought me to you. And I wouldn't revise a word of my past, and I would go through hell and high water, literally, <laughs> all over again if it led me to you. You are the greatest blessing I've ever received, and the most amazing man I've ever had the pleasure of, to know, yet alone love. Our future children will be so lucky to have a father that is so kind, loving, and has the greatest dance moves ever. <laughs> I know you're my mother, Elmo. Cassie Collins, soon to be oob. As I start all of my messages to you in my phone text fashion, good morning, my love. It is Saturday, the day I get to marry you. Here's my letter I've written to you. Laugh out loud. <laughs> so today is the day I've been waiting for my entire life. Today I get to marry the love of my life. Today I get to marry you, my best friend. <laughs> Even though you think I don't listen, I know how much your books meant to you. I don't know if you remember, but I told you when I bought you the Harry Potter set that as we build our life together, we would rebuild the book collection back up. And while it won't be the same, it will be ours. Today of all days, I should give you this book, the first book you ever received from your Nana. I like to think my Nana is up there throwing a fit, <laughs> holding strength to ensure weather for our special day is perfect. I want you to know that I wouldn't change a thing about the last two years I've spent with you. As soon as I meet you, I felt I, a sense of home and comfort. We have reached today having earned the right and with the confidence that <laughs> we, can, we can handle whatever life throws at us. As long as we are together, I will push through this life 
with you for all, all the good times, bad, for all the happy memories and all the sad. I will always strive to be the very best wife, and when I'm not, do whatever it takes to become better. I promise you my life long devotion. I'll always be loyal to you. I'll always love you unconditionally until it is you. Until it is you or I comforting one another into heaven. Thank you for loving me. You have truly made this such an easy decision. From the moment I said yes, I have been praising our God. I don't think any moment, oh, any amount of words can possibly portray how grateful and blessed I am to have you in my life. I want nothing more than to spend the rest of my life showing you just how grateful I am for you and your love. You have changed my life and you have brought so much love and laughter to not only my life, but my family's. I'm still convinced that they love you more than me. Right? <laughs> Thank you for sharing your family with me. I've come to love them so much and cannot wait to share life, to adventure, life adventures with them. I cannot wait to meet you down the aisle and join our lives together as one. Today will be the best day ever. I love you so much. Handsome. See you soon. I prayed for you my whole life. I prayed to my momo all the time to help me find the person that God created for me. I truly feel in my heart that my momo and your nana met in heaven and have been working to help us find our way to each other. From us both becoming teachers, when that wasn't my first choice, from me working with someone while you were teaching her daughter, from the night we met where I got there before you left. Those things, plus so many more things, have brought us and tied our life together. As I write this, I am reflecting on all the amazing times we have had since December 30th, 2017, when we first met. I think about our trip to Mississippi for Abby's birthday, except for the part where Nick gets dropped. It was great to spend the weekend with you and my friends. The one day trip to Houston, where I may have gotten too excited, and our weekend in Mississippi, where we sat by the pool for the whole day and tried salad movies that night. I think about all the food places we have tried, more so the ones that weren't from Food Network, such as Katie's, City Pork, Kenny and Ziggy's, and many, many more. I think about us going to the Saints game with your family and my sister. This is just a small amount of the so many memories we have made together with friends and family. The best part is this is just the beginning and we have many more memories to make. I am so lucky to have such a great family and I'm so lucky to gain an amazing family led by your dad and mom who are a blessing uh, to me. And now I will have two amazing moms and two awesome dads. I'm so lucky to now have more sisters, even though I have my hands full with the one I got. Now I get to have my first brother, someone to pick on, throw the football with, someone to do man things with, laugh out loud. I'm so lucky to have these two amazing families and today they become one. As you get ready today, just know I am so excited. I'm so ready to see my beautiful bride in her dress, see her walking with her father to me. I'm so... I am so ready to marry you, you my best friend, the love of my life. Today I get to live out my dreams, which is marrying you, Cassie Collins. I love you so much, your soon-to-be husband, Marcus Thomasu. <laughs> Tell me, 
Build you a fire when the furnace breaks. Since the day we met and ate at Waffle House, so I thank nice God for growing old with you. For sending me my forever, my soulmate, the one we got. He chose me to walk the right way. As we walk through life together, I promise to cherish and respect you. I promise to care for you and protect you. I vow to love and honor you. I vow to always put you first. Even when the Astro Saints and Earth are having great seasons. I vow to never be scored. Even when I'm feeling I vow to try any new food places with you, especially pizza places. I vow to go to Hobby Lobby with you more than one time a day. On one trip to Hobby Lobby, I saw a sign that described how I feel about you. I choose you in a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds, in any version of reality. I'll find you and I'll choose you. I love you. Marcus Thomas, I have struggled writing these vows for the last two weeks. How could I simply put into words what you mean to me and the love I have for you? Then I realized it's okay, because the love that we share cannot possibly be defined by the words we exchange today. But I have to write some, so here they are. We all know that I'm the most indecisive person on earth, but one thing I've never been uncertain of is the love I have for you. Today, I stand here making the easiest decision of my life, becoming your wife. Before I met you, I prayed for you. It wasn't easy, and it took me almost 31 years to find you. But if the reward is getting to spend every day with you for the rest of our lives, I would gladly do it all over again. Who would have thought the teaching profession, a very cold night, and you not knowing how to properly use Snapchat would have brought us together? <laughs> From our very first date, I knew you were something special, despite your poor planning skills that almost led to my death by hypothermia and some Bourbon Street fried food. I'm proud to say that your planning skills have improved over the last 788 days. From so early on, you became a huge part of my life, my dreams, my future, and my family. I soon began to realize and fall for all the qualities in you that I adore and I love so much today. You're a million dreams and a million prayers come true. You are the most selfless, kind, and patient man I've ever met, and you have the biggest heart. I love your thoughtfulness and your ability to make me laugh even when I don't want to. I love your special remixes to every song you hear and your daily morning voice texts that are always botched because your phone doesn't understand your accent. <laughs> I love that you let me decorate for Christmas two months early and that you never complain when you spend the next six months sweeping up glitter. I love how you insist on talking to me all the way home from work every day and that you're always waiting at the door for me when I get home. I love how our relationship is full of more love and support than I could have ever asked for. I admire the man you are and how hard you work to help others, and above all, I love how you love me. You truly make me a better person, and I'm the happiest when I'm with you. I thank God every day that you have given all of your love to me and that I get to love you in return. I don't know what I did to deserve you or this amazing life, but I'm forever grateful. Today, I give myself to you in marriage, and I can tell you without any uncertainty that I promise to be faithful and loving and to always put you in our marriage first through the difficult and easy times. I promise to support your sports superstitions, no matter how ridiculous they seem. I promise to encourage you in all of our endeavors, except when you insist on adding crab oil and sriracha to all of our food and recipes. I promise to stop answering your question of what do you want to eat with it doesn't matter or I don't know when clearly I do. I promise to always be your best friend because you are mine. I promise to respect you, listen to your advice, and occasionally take it without fussing. I promise to take care of you when you've overindulged and lay passed out on a Hooters bathroom floor. I promise not to spend all of our money at Hobby Lobby. I promise to always love you and never to go to bed angry. I promise to not sweat the small stuff like your sock piles or the way you fold our towels. I promise to always dance with you in the kitchen and to make sure there's new, no food left in your beard after dinner. I promise to shush you in church and to make sure you're always there an hour early. I promise to never stop praying with you and for you. I promise I'll hold off watching the next episode of whatever show we're watching or binging until we can watch it together. 
I promise to not take it out on you when the Steelers lose and have a horrible season. I promise to consistently and constantly remind you how handsome you are, how kind and generous you are, and to remind you that you're the most amazing man I've ever met in my life. So Marcus Thomas Oob, with these words and all the words of my heart, I take you as my husband forever and always. I love you. A little short prayer now. Lord, help Marcus and Cassie to remember when they first met and the strong love that has grown between them. Help them to work that love into practical things so that nothing can divide them. They ask for words both kind and loving and hearts always ready to ask forgiveness as well as to forgive. Dear Lord, Marcus and Cassie, put their marriage into your hands. Amen. Amen. As a closing prayer from Matthew 19.6. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Marcus and Cassie, having witnessed your vows of marriage with all who are assembled here tonight, by the authority vested in me by the great state of Louisiana, it is with great joy and happiness that I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Tell me, 
Tell me that you want me And I'll be yours completely For better or for worse I know we'll have our disagreements Be fighting for no reason I wouldn't change it for the world Cause I knew the first day that I met you I was never gonna let you, let you slip away And I still remember feeling nervous Trying to find the words to get you here today Forsaking all others, for so long as you both shall live. Okay. 